Hi guys, Andy Dramatic Aquatics, and I'm back at the factory again today where we're going to be holding the auction this Sunday, which is Furniture World in Concert. And you can see there is tons and tons of stuff. There's got to be 20 or so extension leads there. Light units for T5 and T8. Some of these thermostats as well. I think what we'll be doing is probably putting all these light units into one lot. Although they came from a shop, some have seen better days. And some of them's nearly brand new, so... We'll stick them all in one box. There's also a fuse box here. Or something. Something electrical. I haven't got a clue what it is. And it's got a timer. Timer on, skimmer on. There's a few digital bits in here by the looks of it. Don't know what that's for. It's a control pad. An ozonizer. Never used one. Uh, we've got a box of heaters. Again, there's probably about 30, maybe 40 heaters in here. Again, some really old, some not too bad condition. And again, quite a few. Goodens. In here we've got brand new, and what I've done is I've split this up, so we've got a budgie box, as I call it. Um, this is like bird food and stuff. Red mate. I think it's all, it seems to be all brand new bird food in there. In this one, if you like wild birds, this is a beautiful case. If you want to make a few quid, we some brand new bird feeders. Here we go, look. So, as well as that in there, there's also packets of bird food, brand new, unopened. More bird cages. Coconuts. There's all sorts. So if you're into your wild birds or you want a nice present for somebody for Christmas, or if you want to get everybody the same, there's a boatload of bird feeders there. Over into this box, we've got some cotton purchase. Again, never been used. Some parrot ladders. All sorts if you've got a, a bird. There's even some of these drink cups if you've got a, I don't know, a rabbit, guinea pig. So there's a small boyu tank there. Probably a 30 litre. There's another one, the Aquastar 320. There's a couple of cylinders as well. I think it's CO2. That little one sure is. Glass vars, loads and loads of this pipe. And I'm not sure, I think this is. It's Eheim pipe. And it's actually 12 milli. Now it's not often you see that. That's great if you've got a medium-sized tank and you want to do water changes. So that's your 12 milli there. There is also a good big industrial printer. A Panasonic. Again, don't know if it works or not. We've got lights from the ceiling. When the guy moved out of his shop, he's even took the lights down. I think I showed you the, the uh, computer on yesterday's video. And this is the Blagden power safes with the built-in UVs, air pumps, 200 watt heaters. Another big sort of light unit there. The vivariums or terrariums, I'm not sure how you say it. It's probably a tortoise hibernating in that one. But these are some nice vivariums or terrariums. That one's absolutely humongous. Stands about four foot high. And then there's the stackable ones as well. So if you had multiple reptiles, there's quite a lot here you could dare uh, get your hands on. So what I've done is I've just put all the reptile stuff into one corner, which you can see over there. That's a sump, so you could use that maybe it's for a bank of fish tanks, small pond. It's even got the holes for the socks. Again, more terrariums vivariums and some more in the corner but these actually stack up really really nicely just one sits on top of the other lovely stuff start looking around there's another one there still got the muck in it like I'm sure somebody could clean that up and make use of it uh, there's a box of brand new reptile stuff again moss mats 
couple, there's sand mats, uh, tweezers, thermometers, hydrometers, some ornaments in there, some plants to plant, bit of everything really. Now then, if you were thinking about getting a guinea pig or a rabbit for Christmas, there is a lovely big brand new cage here. And what I've done is I've shoved a bag of sawdust in there, a couple of little treats and a water bottle. So there's a big one, and if that's too big for you, there's a little one on top. Again, I've shoved some sawdust in it. And there's another little one. And these are all brand new, guys. A load of plastic tubs. I'm sure you can make a use out of them. These ones, actually, because of the lids, they do sit together really nice and into lock. So you could use these as some sort of trickle filter above your tank. These, just looking at these vivariums here, we've got wires coming out, there's a light unit in there for defo. Can't see much in there, let's have a look. Oh, so there we go. So you've got your light unit in there, there's some dishes, some mucky sand on the bottom, and I believe there is a light there, but there's no bulb. Same with this top one. So we've got your light unit in there. There's a few different ornaments in there as well. Bogwood places for snakes to hide, I would assume. Oh, we've got a turtle tank. Another dirty one there. Again, I'm sure people who use these sort of things will know what they're for. Whether it be, I don't know, bearded dragons or something. Bag of compost, that's there. And let's like see, we've got all these tanks as well. Some fluidized sand bed filters. They're brilliant for stripping out the ammonias. And over the back of the room there, we've got a good big, huge protein skimmer, which is massive. Also, there's some trickle filters there. I've sorted the plumbing out just into little box. Well, I'm saying little boxes. So we'll do these all separate, but there's some right good fittings in here. And look at that big ball valve. It cost you like 40, 50 quid that. Lovely big thing. So there's a few boxes of plumbing and stuff. Again, another big sand filter. Also a dehumidifier. Which is a Duracraft. And it must be good on energy because it's got the big sticker on. And if you know Chinese, there's a Healy, and it looks like it's an external pump or a dry pump, ready to use for ponds. Take a look in, you can see it's all brand new. It's done in the pattern, it's got all the fittings. It's never been wet yet. So there we go. One more thing I'm going to show you, which is still in the container, we haven't had time to get it out yet, but it is the gem. Oh, there's some more stuff here as well on the table. Again, this is all new stuff. Probably just clag it all together. Some food for iguanas. Absolutely boatloads of stuff. And over here we've just got some boxes of rocks, ornaments, plant pots, more ornaments and plant pots. Some more weird and wonderful shaped things. Could be a candle holder that, or it could be. For reptiles to hide in, and there's SpongeBob SquarePants right at the bottom. Wait, hey, dude, woo! There we go. Right, the hidden gem that's in the container. Let's go and take a look. But just before we go and have a look in the container, I've just noticed that I was looking, I've never looked in this one here yet, in this bottom one, but I was looking to see if there was a light unit in there. And there is, there's a light unit attached. There's also a light bulb. And there is also a water dish. There's also the substrate. And then I came across this man. Now, that looks like the edge of a water dish, but it's not. So when this guy shut this shop, he left in a hurry, man. So there we go, 
we have got a taxidermied snake so that is not good I mean the, how can you do that how can you shut a shop move your shit and leave a poor bloody animal in there like that that is just absolutely bang out of order my dears can you believe that well I don't think he's gonna come back to life well there you go I don't even know what kind of snake it was no doubt somebody out there will know that is just absolutely disgusting that fancy not checking the cages for animals before you shut them down I'm a bit frightened to look in the others now like you see I've never had a proper look in here and um, just check them for light units but it wouldn't surprise us if there's even more but anyway back to the hidden gem let's go and have a look and see what it is I'm on about and here we are it's made me feel really really sick fancy finding a snake man how much of a hurry was that dude leaving in disgusting anyway this, as you can see this container is still canny well, it's got loads of shit in it we've got light bulbs everywhere still some ornaments to go in so some shelving units they'll be going in there's mr ratty oh, i just don't know if i can i feel really really, really bad now for that snake you know it's been in here for months and months and months it's been climbing around in that container looking for food or heat whatever absolutely disgusting I mean all right dirty tanks you can understand but you cannot go leaving animals in man but anyway here we go this is what I've come to show you this beautiful amazing circular tank man this is humongous and so have a look you can see it's actually sumped and it is glass and I would say that's got to be 15 mil glass that I reckon trying to get the camera focused in this tank cleaned up will look absolutely stunning now I'm probably gonna get a little rapture out here plenty of pipes left there's a big filter there Whoop. I just want to have a look in here just to see what's in and there is just a bucket so there you go but it's on a lovely cup well it's not a lovely cabinet it's a shitty cabinet but the tank itself man that is a beauty yeah, absolutely rubbish everywhere will not be selling the rubbish but look at that, that's got to be, I would say, looking at that, it's going to be two and a half feet across. It's going to be about three to five hundred litres, that. But we'll get this taken into the factory tomorrow and we'll get an even better look. We've still got some boxes to go through. It's just kind of frightening to look now. all sorts of bits and bobs still left in here to come out more plumbing some shelving stuff some more under gravel filters brand new there's a nice little nano tank there and a machine of some description for something I don't know there's some scales there some more light units so there's still quite a bit to come out of here to get into there which we'll be able to sell and there's a knackered tank there with a crack in the bottom so that'll just go straight in the bin but uh, yeah so that's it for the day folks so there is a hidden gem right at the back of the container and we've also found a nasty surprise which was a snake that's been left in that vivarium whether it be accidental or uh, uh, how can you leave a four foot snake accidentally you know but that's it for today folks thanks for watching thanks for liking don't forget if you haven't already hit that subscribe button 
and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with another video once that tank is out of there and in the factory. But for tonight, thanks for watching. Good night.